What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be going over the best 20 apps for your new Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G. We have researched and tested many apps for this phone and in this video we have reviewed the best ones just for you. Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So just before we begin, I do want to let you know that I will break down everything on categories and they will go as browsers, communication, fitness, travel, productivity, photography, security, utilities, and customization. So the first one is DuckDuckGo. For this app, I put it on the list because even though Google is an okay option for a browser and it comes installed in your phone, DuckDuckGo is more of a private browser by helping you not get tracked by third parties or get any targeted ads of anything at all. Then we're going to have Duolingo and if you're looking to learn or practice a language on your phone, Duolingo might be the best way to go and it's free so that's a big advantage. The app has also expanded its choices of languages over the past few years and there's now also a Duolingo Plus tier for $12.99 which actually removes the ad and gives you the ability to download lessons of online studying, but that isn't so important so you can just do the free version. Then we're going to have my fitness pal and this is basically a calorie counter and exercise tracker that helps you lose weight by answering all the meals you eat and also includes some workouts and while it won't give you a whole workout program, it can make you aware of your habits and what you need to improve. Then we're going to have Snapseed and this app is really good because I would say it works like a full-fledged image editor and sort of like a filter app like Instagram and best of all it's the amount of control it's going to give you over how filters and effects are applied to your images. It even lets you make non-destructible edits to raw camera files and make adjustments to exposure and detail levels. Then we have Evernote and Evernote is a note taken app that's really good to organize everything and it can be from text to even audio and then organize them for notebooks. One of its killer features is optical character recognition which makes the text in images searchable. Then we have Doodle and Doodle lets you suggest times to schedule meetings or maybe hangouts with other people and then see which works best for everyone. It's an invaluable planning tool to me so I think you should get it as well. Now to Doist and to Doist it's for those who like to keep everything organized. You can basically keep track of the tasks that you need to do and put them in different priorities based on the importance of the projects or whatever you decide to use the app for. I would also like to point out the functional clean design and works across many different platforms. Then we're going to have Airbnb and this one should be your to go app for finding rooms, apartments, homes and other unique accommodations when you're traveling out of your state or maybe your city. So if you don't want to go to a traditional hotel this is going to be a very good choice for you and the length of your stay doesn't need to be short term either. Some locations do let you stay for several weeks and also months. Then we're going to have Grammarly and this one gives you a writing feedback to make sure that your work is 100% correct in the grammar area. The keyword for your phone and it actually works across all of your apps, there is no copy and pasting required, plus it also comes with a document editor and personal writing statistics. Now spot number 10 we have Otter Voice Notes and Otter is an innovative automatic recording and transcription service that works in real time. All you have to do is simply like hit the record button during a conversation or meeting and then Otter will produce a usable transcript a few minutes later. Otter's app is fluid, well designed and quick in operation which actually makes it ideal for students and professionals who have to rely on their mobile devices for their work. Next up is Speed Test by Okla and this allows you to test the overall speed of your internet connection measured in megabytes per second. And while it may sound like something only a tech person would want to use, it is handy for everyone, especially if you have an area of the house where you don't get a good Wi-Fi signal. 
Speed tests will help you determine how bad your connection gets and help you to test the solutions. Then we have the Swifty keyboard at Microsoft. This is an impressive keyboard replacement. This one suggests what it thinks it's the most likely next word as you type. So a pioneer of this technology, SwiftKey can speed up your typing by inserting whole words with a tap, and this app also supports swipe-like input over 100 languages and 80 colorful themes for you to customize. Then we have Resplash, and this is a wallpaper Android app that uses content from Unplash, which is a site full of free stock photos that you can use for anything, as well as downloading images or sending them straight to your wallpaper, you can also favorite them, so you'll always be able to find them again, even from a different device. Then we have One Weather, and this is arguably the best weather app out there. It features a simple, paginated design that shows you the current weather, a forecast for up to 12 weeks, a radar, and other fun stats. Along with that, you'll get a fairly decent set of lightly customizable widgets and these standard stuff like severe weather notifications and a radar so you can see the storms approaching. Now we have LastPass, and this is a password manager that lets you save your login credentials in a safe, secure way. And on top of that, it can help generate nearly impossible passwords for you to use on your accounts. And it's all controlled with a master password. Then we have Textra, and Textra comes with a variety of themes, most of which are edible by you. It does basically everything you need on a message app to do without much hassle. I think it even has a tutorial built in that makes it work with Android out better than most of other texting apps. Now it's the time for Sedge, and this is another wallpaper app, but not only does that, we also have ringtones, notification tones, and alarm tones app that's going to give you an unbelievable number of options to customize the most basic parts of your device. Then we have Glitch Lab, and this is another photo editor packed to full digital glitch effects. So you've probably seen pictures like this before with the style of effects offered. Maybe they don't appeal to everyone, but if you like making your pictures look a little bit glitchy or maybe you're on the retro side, this is one of the most capable and versatile ways to do it. Then we have Water Resistant Tester. And a simple but potentially very useful app, which could actually save your phone from suffering water damage. All it does is whether your phone is or it is not water resistant. It does this by using the barometer in your phone to measure pressure changes when you press firmly on the screen. And lastly, we're going to have App Tiles. App Tiles lets you assign up to six such shortcuts for any apps on your phone. So rather than returning to the home screen to launch one of them, you can do so with a swipe and also a tap. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.